Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the Image Editor and Website Builder. I'm editing my homepage, which contains a photo gallery section. To edit an image, select it to bring up the Edit panel. In the Edit panel, just above the image is a button to rotate the image and various sizing options to choose from. If you want to remove the image completely, choose the Remove from Gallery button. You use the smaller image in the edit panel to adjust things like zoom and positioning. Changes made to this image display in real time in the preview window on the left. If you want the full image to be visible, you can adjust the zoom out or in using the slide bar here. If you roll your cursor over the image, you'll see it change to four arrows. This cursor lets you hold the image and reposition by dragging it. If you want to try out a different image, you can choose Change Image and select a different image from the media gallery. The black and white option, well, does what it says. The text you enter in the image description field functions as the image's alt text on your web page. So take the time to write a meaningful description for each image. Be sure to include the keywords that you want search engines to notice, but be specific to the image and clearly indicate how it relates to the other content on that page. The Add Caption section allows you to create some overlay text on the image, and you have some formatting options available here. When you add a link to an image, you need to specify where it will send users when they select it. You can link images to another page on your site another site on the web, a phone number, an email. If you choose to link a page on your own site, Website Builder allows you to specify down to the section level exactly where you want to send the viewer. Let me show you the advanced image editor and highlight a few features. Select the edit button under the photo, which launches the GoDaddy Studio editor. You have full control of the image, including color filters, adjustments, cropping, etc. On this side, you can use overlays like text, graphics, and shapes. Something that might come in real handy, especially if you're selling products, is the background removal tool. Just select the tool from the list, and the background is gone, leaving behind a transparent layer. You can adjust the size and location of the new image by pulling the corners and dragging it around. Let's say I want to add a custom background to this photo. Go to image and select one from the gallery or upload your own. Once the image appears, you can choose move backward to bring your transparent image to the front layer. And when your image is looking the way you want, select continue to save and return to the website folder. Select Done to save your changes to the draft. Don't forget to publish and update your latest changes out to the real world. That's it. That's how to use the image editor and website builder to make sure your images look great. I'm Emma. Thanks for watching.